Chester University's world famous art and medicine unit. When Caroline is finished, she will be able to tell me how accurate our mummy's portrait really is. I am Dr. Campbell Price and I'm the curator of Egypt and Sudan in the Manchester Museum. The University of Manchester and Manchester Museum in particular have been at the forefront of mummy research for over a century. Uh, in the museum we have a number of very important objects but among the most important are the tomb group belonging to the two brothers who date to about 1900 BC and who arrived in Manchester um, in 1908. When they were discovered uh, in Egypt, they were buried together and the hieroglyphs on the coffins said that they had the same mother, a lady called Knum A'a. However, when the brothers were unwrapped in 1908 by Dr Margaret Murray here in Manchester, there was some doubt about their genetic relationship because the morphology of their skeletons, the shapes of their skeletons, were quite different. So for over a century it's been a big question about the exact genetic relationship uh, between these two men and now it's very exciting that uh, we've been able to answer this question uh, definitively. Uh, I'm Dr. Konstantina Drosu and I'm a research associate at the Manchester Institute of Biotechnology and I'm working with archaeogenetics, which is basically DNA analysis in, uh, in archaeological remains. So uh, initially we took two teeth from each of the mummies and, um, and then we, I extracted the, the DNA and after we've extracted the DNA, we, our plan was to analyze the mitochondrial DNA uh, because it's, it's the DNA that is exclusively inherited from the maternal line so to test if they have the same mother and then to test the Y chromosome to see if they have the same father. Um, so the plan was to compare the two but uh, unfortunately only one of the samples worked. Only, uh, only a, Nakt Ankh worked in the beginning, so we asked uh, to get uh, a third tooth from the second mummy. Uh, of course, it was hard to get another sample because there was a possibility that we get nothing and then we have destroyed three samples, which is, it's never good, but uh, they were very kind to give us another tooth and we were able to, uh, to compare the two and uh, determine that they have the same mother because they had the same mitochondrial profile. And, uh, the Y chromosome was less complete, but still we have indications that uh, they have the, they have different father. So basically, they're half brothers.
Bukura ati baru. Bye. 
They're depicted. They're depicted in the same color as Ramsey's. They're depicted in two skin tones. One is red, reddish brown, and one is black. Notice Ramsey's is also painted in the same skin tone. Whenever I ask people about this, they have no answer. Here again, the Nubians are not just painted jet black. Now notice in this one, the Egyptians are depicted two skin tones, reddish brown and black and they're depicting the same skin tones as the Nubians right behind them. Now some people say that the people in front are Nubians but they are not because you can look at their facial features and see that they're different than the Nubians in the back. They have the same facial features as Egyptians. The ones in the back are Nubians, the ones in the front are Egyptians.